Howdy guys, welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 18W14A. In this week's snapshot, we got a lot of changes, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, first change this week is to phantoms. So phantoms now, when they're killed, if I just kill this guy right here, you can see they now drop things called phantom membranes. So I got four phantom membranes from that guy. If I go ahead and kill this dude right here... I got one from that guy, and I do have looting three on this sword, so that helps a little bit as well. But these phantom membranes can actually be used in an anvil to repair your elytra. So here we have an anvil, and we have a slightly damaged elytra here. If I go ahead and put this in here with a phantom membrane, uh, you can see it repairs my durability of the elytra from 275 to 383. So, yeah, it does a little bit over 100 uh, durability increase to the elytra. Um, so we can go ahead and do that, and then of course we can go in and do it again and fully repair the elytra with the phantom membrane. And since the phantom membrane is now used to repair elytra just like this, uh, that does mean you can no longer use leather. So leather is now no longer used to repair elytras, you have to now use the phantom membrane to do so. You can also use the phantom membrane for one other thing, and that is the potion of slow falling. So if you go ahead and take an awkward potion, and put a phantom membrane in the top slot of the brewing stand. You can see it now starts to brew up. And eventually you end up with a potion of slow falling, which lasts for a minute and 30 seconds. You can then also add redstone dust to it and get an extended potion of slow falling, which lasts for four minutes. And there's also the splash varieties as well as the lingering varieties. Now the potion of slow falling does exactly what it says. So if I go ahead and just switch myself to survival game mode here and then go ahead and drink one of these. You'll see I now get the slow falling icon, which is a feather right here. And if I go ahead and now jump off, you can see I slowly, slowly, slowly fall down. And then I will eventually reach the ground without taking any damage. So this is a great way to, yeah, mitigate fall damage or potentially, you know, combat shulkers in end cities and not have to worry too much about damage for a while. And it also does affect like when you jump or when you walk down blocks. So just be aware of that. It's worth noting as well that there are tipped arrows of slow falling, and they last for 11 seconds and 30 seconds each. There are also new advancements in this snapshot, one of which is catching fish, called Fishy Business, as you just saw right there. There's also an additional advancement for catching fish manually with a bucket. And if I go over here and catch one of these tropical fish, uh, by the way, there's also a shipwreck right there. There you go, tactical fishing advancement gotten, so that's what you get for catching a fish with a water bucket. Another advancement involves throwing a trident at something, so if I toss the trident at the turtle, there we go, made the advancement a throwaway joke, so you get that by throwing a trident at anything. And the final advancement is by striking a villager with lightning, so you'll need a trident with channeling on it to get this advancement, and you just basically throw it at the villager, and there you go. Very, very frightening, and yeah, the villager turns into a witch, as expected. So that is the final new advancement added in this snapshot. The Riptide enchantment for tridents has also changed pretty dramatically, namely that you can now no longer put Riptide on a trident that already has loyalty or channeling on it. So you can see here, this already has loyalty and you can't put Riptide on it, it's exclusive. There's also some major changes with the Riptide enchantment this week. Namely, you have to be in water or in rain to throw a trident enchanted with Riptide. So you see this one has Riptide here, and I'm holding down right mouse button right now, and I can't actually throw it. I actually have to be in water to be able to throw it. So if I jump into water now, I can indeed throw it like that. And you'll see you actually do also ride along with the trident now. So instead of throwing the trident and you getting sort of dragged along behind it a little bit, you actually ride with the trident now. So that is an interesting change in mechanics. And not only that, if we go into F5 mode, check this out. There's also a new animation with this, and it's like a spinning tornado animation. Just like that. So yeah, you can see, yeah, that is sort of what it looks like. And of course I have to get back into the water or into the rain to be able to actually do that. There we go. Yeah, so that's an awesome new animation with this Riptide enchantment. And so this is actually going to be a really effective way to close the distance, close the gap on mobs. When you say, for instance, like, want to get to shore and start fighting, uh, this is an easy way to do just that. Uh, you'll see, although the animation is like a tornado animation, when you're in third person, 
Uh, it actually is just fine in first person. So, yeah, that is a pretty awesome new mechanic with the Riptide enchantment. There's also been some world generation changes in this snapshot, namely that seagrass will now generate in swamp biomes, as you can see here. So you can see all the seagrass here. And seagrass itself also no longer needs a block above it to be placed in water. So I can place it actually in one block deep water, as you can see right here. And with that, that is all from Minecraft 113 Snapshot 18 W14A for me. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thanks again for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.